Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're safe and healthy. This is Teacher Rose and I welcome you to our science class. This time, let's talk about separation and assemblage of materials. One more time, separation and assemblage of materials. For our vocabulary, Let's try to read these words two times, okay? Separate, separate, assemble, assemble, material, material, shirt, shirt, button, button, fabric, fabric, reuse, reuse. New object, new object, handicraft, handicraft, wall, wall, brick, brick, dismantle, dismantle, walkway, walkway. Look at this picture. This is a shirt, shirt. This shirt is made up of buttons and fabric. Buttons and fabric. The buttons and fabric can be separated from each other. Again, let's read. The buttons and fabric can be separated from each other. Look at these new objects. They are handicrafts and they are made of buttons. Let's read this. The buttons can be assembled into handicrafts. One more time. The buttons can be assembled into handicrafts. Look at these new objects. What are they? They are bags. And these bags are made of fabric, okay? The fabric can be assembled into bags. One more time, let's say it. The fabric can be assembled into bags. Let's review. This is a shirt. The materials that make up a shirt are buttons and fabric. Then the buttons are assembled into handicrafts. Also, the fabric can be assembled into bags. Do you understand? Okay. Let's have another example. This is a house. There are many materials that make up a house, but the walls of this house are made up of bricks. Okay, let's read. The walls of the house are made of bricks. When the walls are dismantled, meaning you take the bricks out one by one and then you, you reuse them to form a new object, then you can make a walkway like this. Okay, let's read. When the walls are dismantled, the bricks can be used to make a walkway. So, let's review. These are the walls of the house, and the walls of this house are made of bricks. Good. And the bricks are being dismantled and formed to make a new object. You can make a walkway. Good. I have here a question for you. What materials are used to make a shirt? Hmm, what's the answer? The materials to make a shirt are buttons and fabric. Let's read the answer one more time. The materials to make a shirt are buttons and fabric. Another question. Can you reuse the buttons to make a new object? Can you reuse the buttons to make a new object? Yes or no? 
Very good. Yes, I can. That's the answer. Another question. What new object can we make from the buttons? Look at this picture. Oh, the answer is we can make handicrafts. One more time. We can make handicrafts. Let's read and answer this question. What new object can we make from the fabric? Hmm, what new object? What do you think? The answer is we can make bags. We can make bags. Very easy. What materials are used to make the walls of a house? Look at this picture. What's your answer? The materials to make the walls of a house are bricks. Very good. Can you reuse the bricks to make a new object? Yes or no? Yes, I can. What new object can we make from the bricks? Hmm, what's your answer? We can make a walkway. Very good, kids. Students, the lesson today is very easy, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, Teacher Rose. And don't forget to answer your worksheets, okay? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!